Call your father, man. Today we got a load going to Scranton, PA, but we gotta go pick up the empty in Chambersburg and from Chambersburg go all the way up there. So an hour to Chambersburg, an extra three hours, an extra three hours going to uh, Scranton, PA. So stay tuned. So got this, this seat switched. This is the passenger seat, if you can tell. They don't got the little, they don't got the armrest. But, this one's stiff, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not, don't nobody be sitting in this seat. And that one's super soft, but it's too sunk in. Like every time I'm sitting, basically I would sit like sideways because there was a hole on the side. You know what I'm saying? So now, I gotta get used to this seat. That place is where I got my truck's tents. I put 35s on the sides. The reason why I put 35s was because for real, for real, ain't, it ain't legal for you to have tents on your semi. So at least, you know what I'm saying, you getting some type of protection from the sun. We can barely see in this cab right now with the 35s I got. You know what I'm saying because I always keep the uh, basically the sleeper um, windows, I keep them covered. Street, we about to merge into uh, 83, 83 South, and from 83 South, we're going to stay to the left, and we're going to get on uh, 581, from 581, we're going to take 81 all the way down until we get to Chambersburg, exit 20, from exit 20, we're going to pick up a trailer or a container all right so we just arrived to a location to see if these containers are good See what's up. I'm gonna keep that there. I'm not even gonna move it. Let's make sure we kick our tires, make sure the lug nuts is good. I'm saying my flat, they good. This is good. All I gotta do is put my zip ties on it. I haven't put no zip ties on it yet, just because. Sip ties on it yet because I don't want to sit here and uh, this container be bad and me waste my time putting sip ties on it. It does have a little bit of an air leak, but there's nothing major. Something that once I start running, it's going to be good.
looks good. That's the snake, it doesn't have any holes. I'll take the blower and get all of this out when I get up there. But yeah, we good. Look for you to get down. Grab onto this little ledge right here. Like put my foot right here. Let's that's it. that we were told to come to but the people from this location are telling us that the people we are looking for the company we are looking for moved out of this location about nine months ago meaning that now the company that I work with they are basically contacting the broker that way the broker can get in contact with the uh, shipper and the shipper can let them know where is it that they moved to. Now, it's a bit frustrating because I've been here for about an hour, an hour and like about 20 minutes. I'm still getting paid 100% for my trip up here. That is called a dry run for us that work at the rail. I don't know if people over the road, people who are driving, if you guys call it that or even if you guys get paid for that. But I know me, I'm getting paid regardless. We ended up taking off. We get paid regardless. You know what I'm saying? For the load. But it's a bit frustrating because I had to sit there for two hours. You feel me? But it is what it is, though. Like, it ain't. I'm not really complaining. It's just a bit frustrating. I actually prefer to be this way anyway because I was still going to sit there for at least two hours. I have calculated, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna have to sit there and uh, come back with about 40 something thousand pounds. You get what I'm saying? So it's better for me not to sit here and, and have that load, but I'm having issues left and right. The clutch was so called that it was adjusted yesterday, but it was left too high. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to sit there and deal with my clutch being out of uh, adjustment because I have to take it back to the person that we took it to yesterday to get it fixed. I got to take it tomorrow. But once it turns nighttime, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put a turn on the lights, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to have everything rocking out for y'all. We almost getting to the point where it's completely dark and we still got an hour to go until we make it to Chambersburg and then we got an hour and a half coming back. We arrived to the location where we picked up this container from. Now we're dropping it off. Man, 
these landing gears ain't no joke. This will keeps me in shape. I ain't gonna hold y'all.
best paying load, but you know it's a it's a good load. The reason why I say that is because I had the opportunity to take the truck on the, <laughs> on a road trip, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't get loaded, so I just took it for a spin, a long one though. You know I'm saying 500 miles, but. I love my job, so I ain't even tripping about it. But it actually plays out in my favor that things turned out the way that they did. Just remember, man, your lack of motivation means you disrespecting the people that believe in you. So you better get on it, baby. I appreciate y'all for watching the video. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the new subscribers, man. If you don't mind, give it a thumbs up. You feel me? Turn on your notifications. You feel me? And you're going to do that regardless if you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you like the video, I don't really know. Like, people, going, they're going to subscribe regardless. If they want to see my type of content, you know what I'm saying? I'm new to this. But we gonna definitely make it happen, you feel me, baby?